real roller derby girl. I would say maybe Ellen Page. Lots of tattoos. Really Ellie muscular. Big. Short shorts and probably not that good with men. But CrossFit for sure. CrossFit nerds. I would say tall, <laughs> fake titties. Rocket power. Tough. Lesbian. Like Ellen Page and Roller Girls. <laughs> Meet Marcy, or Grace Riot, a skater on the Cape Fear All-Star team. They don't. They expect it to be, I don't know, rough bar girls. Emily, or Toe Up, is captain of the Cape Fear Roller Girls. I'm not sure what mental image they have, like, you know, whether they have this image of just, like, big bruiser women or, well, you know, toothless, you know, rednecks or um, lesbians or I don't, like, I don't know what, people seem, usually seem a little surprised. I had a friend of mine uh, while I was at UNCW that skated on the team and she asked me to volunteer one day and I volunteered, sold the tickets at the bow and I actually ended up getting a job through uh, being here that day and which kept me coming back to all the bouts and eventually I just decided to put on a pair of skates. I was in school uh, at UNCW at the time and I was taking a magazine writing class and we had to do a sports story. So some coworkers of mine said that there was a roller derby game coming up and that that would be a fun thing to do. So I came to the game and I interviewed a couple players. <laughs> I decided to really flesh out my story. I should come to newbie night and try just, you know, see what it was like. And so put on rental skates and started, you know, just started skating around and I just kept coming. <laughs> so I turned in my story, but was by the time I finished my story, I was kind of like starting to actually do roller derby. So that was how I got into it. <laughs> in roller derby, there are jammers and blockers. Jammers are marked by two stars on their helmets. During each jam, the jammer scores a point for each member of the opposing team they pass. It's the blocker's job to use body contact or any means necessary to stop the opposing team's jammer. Yes, dangerous. There are a lot of injuries and intense um, at times. I uh, tore my ACL at a practice, went in to hit somebody who was a lot bigger than I am. And when I went to hit her, my knee just sort of hyperextended and it snapped. After everything we heard, we wanted to find out if we had what it takes to become a Cape Fear All-Star. I'm about to go on that court for the first time in my life, and I'm going to dominate. I expect brutal hell. It's been a few years. It's been a while. A long time. I've never skated before. I didn't, I didn't know how to skate when I started. So, you know, I had to learn how to skate. Um, during the 12-week program, we'll teach you uh, the fundamentals of roller derby, how to fall, eventually how to hit, stuff like that. So at the end of this 12-week program, you take your assessments, which will say whether you're skilled, a skilled skater enough to play, and if not, then you'll go through the program again. Well, it depends on how sore you want to be after your first practice, because I would say that if you started doing squats and lunges and all that kind of stuff now that you would be a little bit more uh, prepared for some of the, the exercise because yeah that's a big big part of what we do with new recruits is not only teaching them skating skills but also working them out really hard. Rock and roll. Quite yet, but oh, yeah. getting there. 
fewer practices we could be. Skaters. If we can be. Like we're going to be champions. Champions. <laughs> they don't, they're not convinced. Fucking rock it!